All right, guys, check it out. Today on American Heritage Garage, as promised, I got myself a present. Uh, so we are going to dig into this thing and uh, see how well it is uh, packaged up. Let's uh, bust out the old knife and cut into her. guys uh, so I got myself a present uh, pretty excited uh, as I put out on Instagram the other day um, these are the headers for the Model A hot rod um, I'm super excited um, they're huge I mean you can in the beginning of the video you can see how tall the box is uh, we'll measure them all and see exactly how big um, so I ordered these from a company called New Age Motorsports and Hot Rods out of Monroe, Connecticut. Um, these are a one-off style header. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty excited. I think they're, uh, they're going to be just what I'm looking for. So um, we talked a little bit on the phone the other day when he told me he shipped them out. And he said they were, he, he really had to come up with a creative way to package these. So they stayed uh, safe in, during shipping, of course, uh, didn't get damaged, and they tried to keep the box under a certain size uh, to keep the price down. These things were expensive enough um, as it is. So anyway, um, basically, I've been waiting a super, super duper long time for these. Um, they were ordered, I think I officially paid in full February 7th of 2019. So, yeah, we've been waiting for a while here um, to get these things. So, I'm going to dig into these things here in just a second. All right, so we are going to try and figure out how the best way to open this is. Uh, he mentioned he's got a gazillion layers of cardboard in here. It looks like there's two boxes on the outside. So, I am just going to start cutting uh, and see what happens. I hope my mic's working good. I had some issues with the other mic that I used, so I had to put my uh, my other microphone on. And I'm just not as used to the settings on it. So, ultimately I want to do this without slicing myself. Okay. Yes, the gentleman who Owens New Age Motorsports was very, very concerned about the safety during shipping of this package. Uh, we had talked about having them coated, and he wasn't comfortable with coating them there because basically he just said shipping is so risky. Um, with a coated product. I think how he's got these packaged, they probably would have been okay, but um, there was some other things he had mentioned about um, the difference in price, and he didn't have anybody close, so he would have had to drive like four extra hours, and it just wouldn't have been worth it. So, uh, he's got these suckers bubble wrapped, that's for sure. Um, I'm thinking everything looks looks to be okay. We'll uh, just pull these guys out of here and show you here. So here's how he's got them got them packaged up in here. So we'll uh, stand it back up. And Okay, there's one. There's 
to so I'll show you here real quick if you can see here if we can get the guy to focus. I always have problems getting stuff to focus let's, let's zoom it in so here's the name of the company 501 Pepper Street Monroe, Connecticut, uh, www.newage-motorsports.com, okay? So, just to give you guys kind of a, a hint on what these are, these are essentially um, American graffiti headers. So if you've seen that movie, you'll know exactly what type of headers these are. Um, they do custom make them there. It's the only place in the world I could find these headers. Um, and it's just a style I've always liked since I saw the movie. Um, that movie, American Graffiti, has kind of shaped my hot rodding love. So um, it's really what turned, it on, it turned, turned me into being uh, a hot rodder and, and having such a love for hot rods. So... Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen American Graffiti or Tulane Blacktop or any of those hot rod movies. If you have, comment below and, and let me know. Um, like I said, I'm super excited about these. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them so they don't rust. I may take them home for right now. Uh, I'm a little ways away yet from going to get them coated. Um, I'm going to mount them, which I'll show you guys, and then I'm going to deal with having exhaust built. Whether I'm going to build it or have somebody else do it, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I may do, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have an exhaust bender, so that makes life a little difficult. So anyway, let's, uh, let's cut our way into these things and see what they look like. If you're curious as to what these cost, um, send me a message and we'll uh, we'll chat about it there um, if you're not then don't worry about it they weren't super cheap for being an uncoated set of headers I can tell you that I have no idea what the best way to go about this is he wasn't kidding. They must have several hours and just in bubble wrap alone here.
seeing something kind of funny here. It's a small world. Uh, the box that he has uh, the collector flange protected with is from uh, Automotion Rochester Carburetors, www.hotrodcarbs.com out of Montana. Uh, that's the same company, the same guy, um, Larry Fulton, that I purchased all of my Rochesters and my uh, intake from. So, small world. aren't the best in the world but uh, that's okay all the bends look good smooth correct uh, definitely pretty high quality so I'll lay it out and show you here in a second Get the other one out of this freaking bubble wrap. The amount of tape this guy used had to cost an arm and a leg. So I'm going to get you in here and take a closer look. Uh, I put one up on the bench. So here we go. Okay, there's your engine side flange there, the header flange. Um, go here. It's going to be a little dark.
Like I said, this thing never ever wants to focus for me. I'm going to manual focus and try it that way. That's better. So here you can see the welds a little bit. They're actually better the more and more I look at them. Not bad, not bad. So we'll do a uh, quick measurement here and that'll probably be about it. Wrap this thing up, show you exactly how long they are from tip to tip. Give me a sec here. So we'll do a quick measurement here. At least a rough, rough guess. Get it as close as we can. So we're right at about 49 and a half inches from this tip all the way to the end. Um, I'm ecstatic with these. Um, I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Uh, and I'll tell you a couple quick things. Um, again, these are American Graffiti 32 Deuce Coupe, John Milner Coupe, Yellow Deuce Coupe, Piss Yellow Deuce Coupe, American Graffiti Headers. Um, the guy says they are perfectly uh, in spec. So they're measured to spec. The pipes are bent perfectly. Uh, in the movie, I'm not super familiar with uh, what the gentleman was talking about, but he told me that on one side of the car, the collector is actually even wrong. So he, uh, if you choose to have them done, he can do the, the off mismatched collector. I'm not making a clone car. Obviously mine's a 31, not a 32. Uh, I'm taking some stylings from it that I like, that I think look good on a hot rod. Um, and that's kind of where I'm going with it. But if you're an American Graffiti guy, if you have a coupe, if you want these headers, uh, according to the gentleman, uh, Ed and Chris out there at New Age, these are it. These are the only ones I could find. Um, you got to have patience. But he said, this is it. This is the real deal, um, American Graffiti headers. So, uh, again, I'm super excited. I'm going to have these coated. Uh, in a, probably a ceramic. I'm going to try to get them as shiny as possible. Some kind of, some kind of heat treatment. Um, at this point, I don't think I need to do anything with the welds. I think they're all good. Um, I may take a look at the collectors on the cylinder head side and make sure they're all clean and, and smooth. Um, you know, but again, this isn't a drag race. You know, I'm not making a, a dragster or anything crazy. Uh, this is a, a car that I plan on driving. Um, so I'm not trying to suck every bit of horsepower out of this car. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, I'm excited. If you guys are interested, hit me up in the comments. Uh, like I said, let me know if you like American Graffiti. Let me know if you're interested in these. I can give you the information if you didn't see it when I held it up. Uh, my experience with those guys was good. Um, like I said, you had to be patient by all means uh, because they're, they're busy. They do build uh, full rolling cars out there. Uh, I believe fiberglass bodies and stuff and they they make the chassis if you want it to be a clone they can so uh, Great great couple of guys um, They do good work. This is like I said something I've I've waited for for a long time. So um, That being said guys, I'm gonna close uh, and until next time. We'll see you out here in American Heritage Drive